in 1965 at Decoin, Illinois for the Hamiltonian, it was questionable whether or not uh, they would even have the race on that particular day because they had a heavy downpour and the track was very muddy. At Delaware, Ohio, I can imagine them coming in and scraping the racetrack because it's a half mile track, but that's a major task on a mile track to scrape off all that mud, isn't it? I'll say that was before they started using limestone on the racetrack and right. it was just good play. Now, uh, the race that day uh, really got started uh, very late. That's right. Uh, to compound problems that we had another four heat affair. Three different winners. That's right, and the, and the favorite should have just won it easily. Noble victory with Stanley Dancer had. He had mm -hmm. an entry in the race and he owned the other horse. And he, I, I think Stanley's such a great sport and wanted to win that race so bad for Katie Owen. He was even sick after his own horse won it because he got beat with with the Noble Victory and he had him syndicated to the uh, Lexington Farms for a lot of money mm -hmm. and they kind of backed out on the deal. If you don't win, some of those syndications can fall apart. Egyptian Candor, the other part of the entry from the Dancer Stable, will be handled by Del Cameron. The other winners on that particular day uh, at DuCoin Armbro Flight with Joe O'Brien and Shortstop with Ned Bauer. And as we said, they got such a late start in the day, by the time they get to the fourth heat, it's almost in total darkness. Another great moment in harness racing, a Hamiltonian of 1965. The top event in harness racing, the Hamiltonian, has 11 horses trotting after the rich prize. And the finish of the second heat is a thriller down to the wire as Egyptian Candler, number eight, fights off a challenge by Nimble Boy to win by a nose. For only the fourth time in the long history of this classic, the Hamiltonian goes into four heats when no horse was able to win two out of three. The weather is bad and the final heat is run as darkness falls. The winners of the three heats, Egyptian Candor, Armbro Flight, and Shortstop now battle it out for the $60,000 top prize. Shortstop breaks and goes off stride. It's now a two-horse race. Down the stretch, it's a seesaw battle. First one horse, and then the other is in front. Shortstop made up lost ground after his break, but it's Egyptian Candor who gets the nod over first by a nose. This is only the third win this year for Egyptian Candor, but when you can show up at the bank with $60,000, everybody forgets that you ever lost a race. Egyptian Candor is the Cinderella horse of the harness world.